Good morning. In today's lesson, we'll be going over a few of the combat systems of the KA-50 Black Shark. This mission follows the combat employment videos originally released by Eagle Dynamics, but brings the training into the real cockpit environment. I have disabled your HOTAS control synchronization for the duration of this mission, as it can interfere with the training instructions. If you are having trouble hearing me, exit the mission and turn down the real world and in cockpit sounds. Note, if you have disabled your spacebar key as your fire button, please enable it for this mission to, to work properly. To help you focus on learning the combat systems of the KA-50 Black Shark, we will be performing these steps here at the range in hover mode so you won't have to worry about flying the aircraft and hitting unfamiliar switches. The auto hover switch is located on the bottom left and back side of the cyclic. To activate the switch, press left alt and the T key on your keyboard. Give your aircraft a moment to ensure it has stabilized, then hit the spacebar key to continue. Excellent. Now we don't have to worry about flying the aircraft and can concentrate on our weapons. Turn on the master arm switch located on the front panel to the left of the PUI. Turn on the laser located on the left panel PVR. All weapons have a minimum and maximum engagement range as well as a minimum and maximum altitude requirement for proper release. We will begin our engagement with the 9A4172 Vicar AT-16 laser guided missile. It has a maximum engagement range of 8,000 meters or 4.32 nautical miles and a minimum engagement range of 800 meters or 0.43 nautical miles. Its maximum altitude while in hover is 10 meters or 50 meters while in flight. These missiles are located on the outside hard points of our aircraft. You can hit F2 on your keyboard to switch to the outside view and view the pods, and then hit the F1 key to return to the cockpit view. Press the spacebar key when you are ready to continue. To select the outside hard points that contain our missiles, we need to move the hat switch on the collective that I have highlighted to the left. You can do so by using the hat switch on your HOTAS controls or by pressing Y on the keyboard. The PUI will now indicate the number of missiles remaining and green weapon readiness lights. Press the ground moving target button on the PVR and the button will light up when on. Switch the desired burst length switch to the desired position depending on the need for your engagement. Long or medium will release two missiles in salvo and short will release one missile. Set the switch to short. Turn on the auto turn to target switch on the PVR. This will help point the nose of the aircraft towards your target. Turn on the helmet mounted sight on the PUI or H on your keyboard. You will notice a small blurry loop come down into the middle of your view with a yellow targeting reticle. Looks like the ground crew has set up our first target. Move the HMS targeting reticle over the target marked with red smoke. Press and hold the targeting button on your HOTAS or press and hold the O button on your keyboard. The reticle will flash briefly during processing. Release the button after the reticle has changed and is a solid two concentric circles with a cross. When the targeting button is pressed, the turn to target system becomes active and the aircraft will move toward the target. You should have noticed a small circle line of sight reticle on the HUD appear and center itself over your HMS target. Turn off the HMS by pressing H on your keyboard or the HMS switch on your HOTAS. Press the space you can verify the HUD's line continue. of sight with the Schwal first in widescreen mode or time 7 view and then go to narrow field of view times 23. You can switch between the two by pressing the minus or the plus key on your keyboard. Adjust the Schwal's line of sight over your target using the hat switch on your HOTAS or you can use the keys on your keyboard. Change the box or gate size by pressing the open box or close box keys on your keyboard or the switch on your HOTAS to the size of your target. Press the spacebar key to continue when you are satisfied. Press the auto lock button on your HOTAS or the enter key on your keyboard. If you need to adjust the gate position or size, do so while holding the auto lock button and release it when you are satisfied with placement. The Schwal will display a T and the top left two lines of a corner of a box while the button is depressed. When you release the key, you should notice the symbol change to a TA, which means you are in auto tracking mode. On the HUD, it will display a TA and a backwards NA symbol. Press the spacebar key to continue. Move the larger constraint circle over the target and when a C symbol appears on the Schwal, press and hold the fire button for 1-2 to two seconds until the missile is released. When the missile is launched, you will see the HUD display change to a TA backwards N Y symbol which means the laser is activated as well as time to impact. Correct your gate position as necessary. You can hit F6 to focus the camera on your missile while it is in flight and the camera will return to the cockpit when it has hit its target. The engagement is complete when the missile has hit its target and the timer has ended, or a large X appears on the HUD. The timer is the missile's estimated time to impact, plus 6 seconds.
Great shot. The ground crew have set up another target marked with red smoke. Take it out. Another one down. Let's try out some rockets. The rockets we are carrying today are an 80mm S8 unguided rocket on our inner hardpoints. They have a maximum engagement range of 2,000 meters and a minimum engagement range of 1,000 meters. The minimum altitude is 30 meters and the maximum is 4,000 meters. Set the inside outside switch on the collective to inside by using the hat switch on your HOTAS or by pressing I on your keyboard. The PUI will then show the number of rockets remaining and green weapon readiness lights. Set the long, medium, short switch to the desired burst lengths for the engagement. Long will launch 10 rockets from each pod, or half your payload. Medium will launch 5 rockets from each pod, and short will launch 1 rocket from each pod. Leave this in the short position for now. Press the spacebar key to continue. While it is not recommended to launch rockets from a hover position because they are unguided and are more accurate while moving, for today's purposes, we will be fine in a hover. Activate the HMS and hold down the O key over the targets the ground crew has set up. Then deactivate the HMS and align the schwall over the target. Align the targeting reticle on the HUD over the schwall line of sight, and when the C symbol appears, press and hold the fire button. Keep at it until the target is destroyed or a big X appears on the HUD indicating the engagement is over. Great hit! Now let's try out the wing mounted cannon. On the PVI, set the long, medium, short burst length switch to the desired engagement setting. Long and medium fire 20 rounds and short fires 10 rounds. We will leave it in the short position for now. Set the high, low rate of fire selector switch. High fire 600 rounds per minute and low fire 300 rounds per minute. Set the selector switch to low. Set the HE AP switch to the desired round type. HE is for high explosive and AP is for armor piercing. Set the switch to HE. The wing mounted cannon has a maximum engagement range of 2000 meters and a minimum engagement range of 200 meters. Its minimum flight altitude is 30 meters and its maximum is 5000 meters. To select the cannon, press the C key on your keyboard and you should notice a large flap will come up from the back of the cyclic. The HUD will now display the slew limits or gate. Lock up the target like before using the schwall and the HMS. Maneuver the aircraft so that the target is within the gate of the cannon, and when the C symbol is displayed, press and hold the trigger button while the burst is fired. Release the button, and press and hold it again to fire a second burst. Great hit. Move the cannon rate of fire switch to the high position and take out another target. Great job. The engagement is done when a large X appears on the HUD or the target is destroyed. When you are done, press the reset on the PVR or the backspace key on your keyboard and turn the master mode switch to the off position.
This completes today's lesson. I have had the ground crew reset the training field with additional targets. Feel free to continue practicing with the weapon systems or you may exit the mission at any time. If you wish to practice the weapon deployment while in flight, press left alt and H key on your keyboard to disengage the auto hover.